preparations. Mx D zero two coefficient of friction tester, specimens, knife, ruler. Specimen selection and sampling. Conditioning. Condition the test specimens in accordance with the required standard. The specimen shall be placed at twenty three plus or minus two degrees centigrade. That is seventy three point four plus or minus three point six degrees Fahrenheit, and fifty plus or minus five percent relative humidity for no less than four hours, unless otherwise specified for the testing materials. Specimen selection: the specimen shall be free of creases, contamination, folds, or dust, etc. According to GB one zero 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 six. Or ISO A two nine five, one specimen should be cut sixty three point five millimeter by one hundred millimeter, and the other one should be cut two hundred millimeter by eighty millimeter. According to ASTM D one eight nine four, one specimen should be cut one hundred and twenty millimeter by one hundred and twenty millimeter. And the other one should be cut two hundred and fifty millimeter by one hundred and thirty millimeter. If the specimen is a rigid material, one specimen should be cut sixty-three point five millimeter by sixty-three point five millimeter, and the other one should be cut two hundred and fifty millimeter by one hundred and thirty millimeter. Turn on the instrument. Switch on the instrument and welcome screen displays. Press any key to enter the main interface. Parameter setting. Move the cursor to preset by pressing left and right arrow keys. Press enter to enter the preset interface. Press left and right arrow keys to move the cursor to standard and select standard GB one zero 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 six. Press Enter to set parameters. Set rest time as 15 seconds, which is the time when the slide keeps still on the specimen. Press Enter to save the setting. Set U.S. time as six seconds. The data collected in the first six seconds will be used to calculate the steady coefficient of friction, and the data collected in the remaining time after six seconds. Will be used to calculate the dynamic coefficient of friction. The speed cannot be changed, which is 100 mm per minute required by GB 1006 or ISO 8295. Press Return to return to the preset interface. Set amount as required and press Enter to save the setting. Set slide as 200 gram and press Enter to save the setting. Set band as 80 percent and press Enter to save the setting. The oscillating coefficient band is recommended to be 80 percent. If it is too low, the system may prompt that the test is failed. Select Yes or No for the print option. Press Enter to save the setting. Press Return to exit preset interface. Move the cursor to test in the main interface by pressing left or right arrow keys. And then press Enter to enter the test interface. Mount the specimen. Put the 200 millimeter by 80 millimeter specimen on the plane with the testing surface upside. Lift up the specimen clamp on the right side of the plane gently and insert one end of the specimen into the clamp. Release the clamp to fix the specimen. 
make sure the length direction of the specimen parallel to the machine direction of the plane. Tape the other end of the specimen on the plane if the specimen is curly. Take the 63.5 mm by 100 mm specimen. Put the edges of 100 mm film specimen to the back or slide using specimen clamp and pulling the specimen tight to eliminate the wrinkles. If the specimen is a rigid material, fix 63.5 mm by 63.5 mm specimen on the back or slide directly with a double fist adhesive tape. Then place the slide with load edge specimen at the center of plane. Connect the low cell and slide with steel wire, which should be stretched almost straight, slightly loose. Start the test. Press Enter to enter the test interface. Press Test K and the system starts counting down. 15 seconds later, the steel plane will be moved and the force value will be cleared. When the time reaches 42 seconds, the test will be finished. When the test is finished, please remove the steel wire and the slat. Press return so that the test platform will be returned to its original position. And when the indicator light on the right side of the instrument is on, it will start. Test results. When the test is finished, the test curve and test results will be displayed in the test interface. The test results can be viewed in the screen. US is a static coefficient of friction. UD is a dynamic coefficient of friction. Multiple tests. Mount the specimen again. Press test K and the system starts counting down. 15 seconds later, the steel plane will be moved and the force value will be cleared. When the time reaches 42 seconds, the test will be finished. When the test is finished, please remove the steel wire and the slat. Press return so that the test platform will be returned to its original position and when the indicator light on the right side of the instrument is on, it will start. Continue to test other specimens according to the procedures above. Test Report Select Yes for print option in the preset interface and press Enter to save the setting. The indicator light for the micro printer will be turned now. When the preset amount of the test specimen is reached, the micro printer will print the test report by pressing the test key. Testing procedures for ASTM D1994. The operation is basically the same as that of GB1006 and ISO 8295. Insert the providing sliding road into the eye screw or low cell. 
screw the spring holder to the sliding rod from the other side of the low cell. The slide and low cell is connected with nylon filament. Press enter to enter the per side interface and press left and right arrow keys to move the cursor to standard and select ASTM D1994. The speed will be 150 mm per minute as D4. Treatment after test. Put down the dustproof cover. Switch off the instrument. 